I stand before you today humble to introduce my resolution to declare this month, September 15th through October 15th, as Hispanic Heritage Month in the state of Michigan. Every year when we honor our community, we do so with the belief and the hope that our efforts will shed light on the impact that the Latinx community makes here in Michigan. For over 100 years, Michigan has been home to Hispanic and Latino residents who have created their own version of the American dream here in our state. For our community, hard work is at our core. And our hard work has propped up our economy, often because Latinx workers are the only ones who will do the work that others won't. But we're also finding that our way into other sectors of the economy, too. Our community works hard to serve others. We pick the crops on the west side of the state, and we build businesses from the ground up. We construct cars, and we teach kids. We sit in boardrooms. We solve problems and we make some amazing food. Our culture is complex because we are far more diverse than the media will have you believe. We are black, brown, and white. We are indígenos, we are mexicanos, puertorriqueños, ecuatorianos, cubanos, dominicanos, colombianos, and more. Pero somos americanos también. We are American too. But for many of us, we often feel like these labels are never enough to explain our full identity or experiences here in the US. My ancestors come from both Malta and Mexico. And as a Mexican American, I feel like this quote from Selena captures this idea well. And we gotta prove to the Mexicans how Mexican we are, and we gotta prove to the Americans how American we are. We gotta be more Mexicans than the Mexicans and more American than the Americans, both at the same time. It's exhausting. Nobody knows how tough it is to be a Mexican-American. It is exhausting. Not many know how tough it is to be Latinx here in the United States. Because even though we've been here for 100 years, we've had only 12 of our voices standing up in this hollow chamber to tell our story. 12 out of the thousands who have served here. I'm lucky to be one of them, the youngest Latinx elected to this legislature. And I'm here to tell our story. As we recognize this month, let's not forget how hard it is to be Latinx in the US. Let's not forget that Latinx women make 58 cents on the dollar for what a white male earns. Let's not forget that the educational opportunity gap for Latinx students is far too stark. Let's not forget that Latinx household wealth has gone down by 50% over the last 30 years. Let's not forget that almost 3,000 Puerto Ricans died as a result of Hurricane Maria and that the survivors are still struggling to rebuild their lives. And let's not forget that hundreds of primarily Latinx children are still separated from their families at the border. When I think about this month, I often reflect on, reflect on these experiences and how much work we need to do in order to live out our American dream. I urge you to join me in supporting this resolution to celebrate our accomplishments and to come together in solemn recognition of the work that we need to do in order to support the Latinx community here in Michigan and across the country. Muchas gracias, adelante. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Question before the House is the adoption of House Resolution 395. All those in favor of the resolution will say aye. aye. Those opposed will say nay. The resolution is adopted.